Hey guys, it's Laurie of Laurie's Heirloom Sewing. In this video, I am drafting out a pattern using the mock-up pattern pieces that I used to make the corduroy skirt for my youngest daughter. I wanted to make one that was about 31 inches from the waist at a finished length. So here I am, I'm working on the back. I'm measuring down for length and I'm off camera there but that's basically what I'm doing and I'm basically moving down to about 33 to I think 33 and a half inches I needed to have enough for a hem and I wanted to have just a little bit of wiggle room anyway so right here I'm now on the side seam part of the back trying to decide Ooh, what's it gonna be what's it gonna be so I finally make up my mind kinda try to get a soft curve using my measuring tape at that 33 inch line and that didn't work so I used my ruler and now I'm tracing around trying to finish that off and eventually <laughs> I start cutting so I cut out the back. This is the top part. That's the dart that's marked on the mock-up. And as you can see, it is quite a bit longer, which is okay. We needed it to be longer. And I did want to um, use this piece to get a good measurement for the front piece that I will end up cutting two out of the fabric for. So now here I am trying, I was struggling with this. It's really heavy paper but it's all I had. So I just kind of had to make do. In a way it worked out pretty well. Those are my pattern weights that I was using on both the paper and on the fabric pattern marking my pattern pieces, reminding myself to cut this on the fold, and in a minute I will mark the grain line. Okay, so I cut one on the fold, that's the grain. Now I am cutting out the front pattern piece. And the front pattern piece on this particular pattern has a front facing that is built into that pattern. So I'll need enough width, which I have on that mock-up piece. So I've cut it to approximately 33 and a half inches long. And now I'm marking front, cut two, and the grain line, I think I do in a moment. Okay, I must have skipped that part. I mean, I, I did it, but I didn't film it. Okay, and then I decided I wanted to use stickers at those notches and just cut the notches off because they were really rough and I'll be sewing with satin and I and um, kind of a, a lightweight gauzy, netty fabric as well. And I just didn't want that heavy paper to snag the fabric. So I measured from the top of both pieces and then put stickers on both sides. So I have red stickers on one side and yellow stickers on the other side of each pattern piece. I just felt like that would work well. Then I'm going to measure, okay, well, all right. This is the darts. I had already marked the top of each dart on the waist, and I'm now drawing those lines together. 
so that they form that dart measurement and I can get that correct on my pattern or excuse me on my fabric now I'm going to check for length on both pieces okay well that's that okay all right Okay guys, so today it's going to be kind of a weird video. It's a very rainy, rainy, rainy January 2nd, 2021. I'm working on the embroidery 
as you've seen. So I have the pillowcase with the sheep in the little basket with the stars that I'm trying to get finished up to send down to Alabama. I, I think I have this um, beautiful little uh, floss keep figured out. I'm not sure, but I've tried to figure it out, and I think this is the way um, I've seen most of them, you know, put together with their floss. But I do like being able to just have this with me, and I'm going to put a, um, a hook where I can hang it up in my sewing room because it becomes almost a uh, like a native art piece depending on the floss that you have on it and I like that I, th I think it's really pretty and of course it's always changing with whatever project you're working on so you can't go wrong with that I have started using kind of my notebook system uh, to stay organized we all know how to use a notebook However, I don't have any tabs like this right here that I could actually stick and then not have be sticky on this side. I'm using the stickers that my daughter and her husband in Oregon gave me for Christmas. So what I did is I took this off of a sticker sheet and I allowed half of it to stick to a piece of tissue paper so that this piece of the sticker is not sticky oops but there's enough sticky left that it will stick to a piece of paper so now when this is closed I can see that I have a tab that I might need to reference and I did I made some notes here so um, that's one of the things that I'm doing. I'm not going to really get into how to use a notebook because, like I just said, we all kind of know what we're doing. Okay, so then the other thing that I did was this right here is my working notebook. And I decided to use this one because we're in the middle of winter and they're wearing coats. And it is a pattern from McCall's and it is a coat pattern and I think it's kind of cool. So I started writing out what I need to do. I've got finished embroidery, the sheet pillowcase, and the kitchen towel, which I am working on. And then today I drafted out the longer pattern for the McCall's 7526 View C skirt that I'm making for my youngest daughter. Um, I've gotten the draft drawn, I cut it out, and now all I have to do is prepare my fabric and you know do the rest of all of that, which is something that we are familiar with. And then on the second page here, um, I've got work on the fabric hankies and the lace. So I did already soak them in cool water and I didn't see any change. And I had already soaked them in plain warm water and I did not see any change. And so far nothing has been um, bleeding. I haven't had any color transfer at all. So I am currently soaking them in warm water with uh, vinegar. When that, when they come out of that particular bath, I will check this off and if further assist is needed to get those stains out, then I'll use some biz in warm water. The little tiny tag that was attached to that linen hanky did come off in, this, in the, the vinegar soak. So I'm saving it and I'm going to see if there is a way to reattach it. I didn't want anything to happen to that. Work on getting that particular skirt cut out tomorrow and I will discuss the pattern pieces and the decisions that I made as far as drafting out that length when, when I come back to do the other part of the video. In the meantime, um, if you are um, inclined, please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so i will see you in the next one thank you bye